What's up guys? Here at SPC, hopefully I can Alright, can I hear myself? Yes I can, sweet. Alright, yep, here at SPC, what's up everyone? Alright, Yingling versus Sherbert. Tell you guys a little bit about these two, about these two. Yingling, up and coming Falco player, been doing really well lately. Um, he's a he freaking goes like he's a he likes to lab out a lot of Falco stuff. He's always asking me for advice. This is Axe, by the way. What's up, everyone? Sherbert, um, another up and coming player, Peach player. He loves down smash like a ridiculous amount. Like this guy's main move is down smash. Normally. Normally, as a Peach player, like you don't want to be spamming that much down smash. But hey, if it's working, you do you, man. <laughs> uh, the funny thing is, like the way that he does it. I mean, he does it differently than like any player that you would imagine who just down like spam down smash. Like it's like, oh, if you just spam down smash, you're gonna lose, right? 
not this guy. Uh, he's found a way to make it work for him, and it's really good. Like, it's still a fantastic move if you do it right. You know, as you can see, you can get a bunch of percent off of it, maybe even a stock. All right, not quite right there. All right, but you know, Yingling looking really good to take this set. It's about to end. I came in way too late for the commentary. Great shine grab into up throw, up air. You can actually escape from that. Oh, I'm an idiot. It's 1-1. One, one. It's 1-1. One, one. But uh, up throw with Falco was just very good against most of the cast, especially the lightweight characters. You can actually combo off of the lasers. You can escape the lasers as pretty much any character by smash the eyeing, but it's not an easy thing to do, you know? It's, it's a really quick move, so it's somewhat difficult to react to. Excellent laser right there. Could have just rolled up, didn't have to go for the down air there. Um, I believe he would have got the kill with a roll. Uh, now Sherbert, <sighs> trying to get the edge guard, doesn't quite get anything, but smacks him with the pan. <laughs> Nobody sees that move. Turn up barely missing, but he gets the tennis racket this time. That board smash was actually so good. The reason why is because uh, the last one was the frying pan. So he knew the next one has to be either a tennis racket or a golf club. And either one did the job for the edge guard there. That was actually really good. Uh, but Peach's forward smash will cycle. Uh, sort of. Uh, it makes it so that way the last one is never the same one. Uh, the next one used is never the same as the previous one that was just that just came out. So the next one can't be a frying pan. I'm not sure how that goes between stocks though. The next one could be a frying pan now, but I'm not 100% sure. All right, Yingling looking really good. Got the pressure going. He's not afraid. Good combo. He tries to get the tech chase in the platform. Doesn't work out. Oh, and he missed the stage with the lasers. So unfortunate. Oh, okay, the reversal right there from uh, from Sherbert. Hard to kill Falco off stage when he's at zero though. Very difficult to do. All right. Punishes the ledge attack with the down air. Oh, Sherbert's a little too low. He barely makes it on stage, though. That was so close. Okay. Good space backers from Yingling. Evening up the game. Oh, the down smash hurts a lot to 45%. But great spacing right there from Yingling. Getting a lot of pressure going. Has stage control. But he got pushed to the corner now. Now it's Sherbert's time. Is he going to get the edge guard? He neutralizes him off stage again. Could not go through the platform. He got stuck in his crouch animation. All right. All right, Yingling trying to space him out right now. Sherbert doing his best to try to catch him. Great power shield and a grab right there. Oh, almost gets the tech chase on that platform. It's a little bit too slow on that. Sherbert with great... Uh, uh, great patience right there when he was getting up after being knocked down. He ends up getting the stock. Whoa, nice tech chase from Yingling. But Sherbert's still alive. He has to get one more hit to seal the deal. He doesn't get it. Oh, he wrecked a little too late. Or he down smashed a little bit too early with the uh, um, that ledge roll. But he ends up getting the stock. Last stock here. Yingling getting a combo going. Sherbert breaks out though with a forward air. Oh, he's got Yingling in a corner, but Yingling breaks out with a neutral air. They're both scrapping. Neither of them can get a solid hit going. Oh, but Yingling gets something. He gets three downers, four downers. Sherbert with great DI getting back on stage. Sherbert at really high percent now, though. Oh, okay. Oh, Sherbert finds a way to get back on stage. Yingling still has really good momentum, though. Sherbert's having a hard time getting a hit. Oh, Sherbert's in a corner. He's trying his best to escape. He's floating. Ford air. Still gets back on stage. Still in the corner after such a long time. And Yingling still couldn't get a kill. Oh, power shield grab from Sherbert. He gets him off stage. But Yingling finds a way to get back. He uses Ford B. Really safe way to get back. Jumps over the down smash, but the second down smash hit. And that's going to be it. Super, super tight battle. Game three, last stock, high percent, 139% on Sherbert, and Sherbert ends up taking it. That was pretty nuts. Let's go, Sherbert. <clears throat> I am going to send a tweet real quick. What's up, everyone? Axe here. What up? Mortal Champ, I see you in the stream. Hold on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tweet real quick that we're, we're live and stuff. 